From 2024, there will be two massive changes to the medicine admissions process in the UK. This video will tell you what you need to know about them and how best to prepare for your application. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Rohan. I'm a fifth year medical student studying at Cambridge University. So the two big changes to the medical school admissions process in the UK are to the UCAS personal statement and to the BMAT admissions test. Both of these changes are set to take place in 2024 for the people entering medical school in September 2025. This means that the current admission cycle, i.e. those applying in 2023 for 2024 entry medicine, are not affected by these changes. Let's start with the personal statement as this affects everyone who's applying to UK universities. You may know that the current system to applying to medical school in UK is applying through a website called UCAS. And as part of your application, you're required to write a approximately page long personal statement, which basically outlines why you are the suitable candidate to study medicine or study that course. After talking to students, teachers, and to higher education institutions, UCAS has decided to scrap the personal statement in its current form for the 2024 to 2025 admission cycle. They say that in its current form, the personal statement favors those from more privileged backgrounds because they have more access to support and help when writing the personal statement. The proposed changes are to replace the personal statement with a series of questions which ask the applicant about their motivation to study the course and how prepared they are to study the course and so on. I put a screenshot, I think it was from the official UCAS website on the proposed subheadings they're thinking of for each of these questions. Remember, these are just the proposed changes, so they are subject to change. We also haven't been told of the character limit or the exact format they are after. The good news is that these questions basically relate to the things you would have anyway talked about in a personal statement, such as work experience and any extra reading you've done around the subject. So it's not like you need to prepare anything extra or different to the personal statement. If anything, the new personal statement format might be easier because it will be quicker to write answers to little subheadings rather than having to write a full page long kind of essay. Moving on to the BMAT, it's been announced that 2023 is the last year that the BMAT will be sat by applicants and there will be no BMAT exam in the year 2024. This announcement was made by Cambridge Assessments Admissions Testing, which is the organization which writes a lot of university admissions tests. We don't know why this decision was made. There was some speculation that Cambridge Assessments Organization ran out of money, but ultimately we don't know. If we were to speculate what this means for medicine admissions, there are three potential options. At the moment, there's about seven to eight medical schools which use the BMAT as part of their admissions process. From 2024 onwards, we may see some of them adopting the UCAT admissions test, which is used by the majority of UK medical schools. In fact, Leeds, which has previously used BMAT in their admissions, have already switched to the UCAT for the 2023 to 2024 admissions cycle. The next possibility is that a new alternative admissions test is written. People have speculated this will most likely be from places like Oxford and Cambridge will already have admissions tests for most of their subjects. However, this is pure speculation and at the moment no one really knows. The third possibility is that there's no replacement for the BMAT and no admissions test is used. This is the most unlikely of the options as medicine has a high number of applicants. So most universities need some admissions test to stratify their applicants to guide which applicants are best to invite for interview and to make offers. The key message is not to worry. Remember that everyone else is in the same boat as you. So you will not be disadvantaged in any way. The fundamentals of the medicine application process remains the same. You still need to have good grades. You still need to be doing work experience and then reflecting on those experiences. You still need to be doing activities which develop your characteristics, such as teamwork and leadership skills. Do these things right and you can't really go wrong. So that brings us to the end of the video. Before you click off, I've actually made a free ebook on medical school admissions in the UK, which has all the advice I've compiled from over the years for each stage of the medicine application process. Click the link in the description box below, and I think I'll also leave it in a pinned comment. The book is actually in the form of a Google Doc, so I can update it as I find out more information regarding the personal statement and the BMAT. If this video was useful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos on medicine application Advice. Anyway, take care and I'll catch you in the next video.